Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. So, a lot of you guys requested me to go to Costco or Sam's Club and I've never gone before. So, I figured I will set up a day that I could take the time to actually do that. I had a lot of comments on my last one that it would probably benefit the family to for us to shop there. And I've been kind of going online and looking it over and then uh, also watching videos and stuff of other people doing Costco hauls and Sam hauls and see kind of like what other pe people's opinion is. And, um, but I had to try it out and just see. I did bring two of my kids. I will add a clip of us just kind of talking over some stuff or whatever. We're at Costco and so far I have seen that the things that I like so far are the like bulk buy as in like hand towels washcloths um i got a lot of school books things i can use and books for evelyn batteries um so far so we still have to go through the rest of the store and um try to figure out like where everything is i know that you guys said that we should try this place out just because we always like get so much stuff at Walmart that maybe if I just bought bulk that would be better so I'm just gonna go through the store and see what I can find but hopefully you guys enjoy it and see what I get and um, I'll come back on and show you guys later when I unpack everything and go through everything with you guys um, I just didn't record everything just because it was my first time there and I figured I was gonna be there for like the whole day and it ended up not being that I, I wasn't there the whole day, but ended up seeing people that we knew there and it's actually like 23, 24 minutes away from our house. So not too bad, but it was just funny to kind of see them. They actually saw us first and were like, hey, are you guys at Costco? And we're like, yeah. So we had to follow up with them and find them and stuff like that so that was fun so what i did is i went online and i just did the membership online got there and then got my card and then you know it, i don't think it was like too hard to figure out or anything like that everything was really nice there the people were really nice there i don't feel like it was overcrowded there was a lot of people but i don't feel like it was overcrowded and i don't think that it was um too badly like like set up to how you shop there. Um, I was expecting more things like a bigger like section of toys. Um, they only had like books and a little bit of Legos and stuff like that, but they didn't have like a big section just of toys. I was kind of hoping for like Easter stuff and then, um, what else? A more electronic stuff. I didn't see, a, I mean, they only had like a little bit of stuff, nothing that we were kind of like, we were looking for some gaming stuff. Um, so we didn't see a lot of that. And what else? Um, I didn't really get around to the produce aisle, even though my, we were kind of near there and I had them to go get some bananas and stuff, but that was it. So that was like the only time that I didn't really like price things. So I would say overall, I think it was really nice to be there. They did have samples this time of like popcorn. So I ended up buying popcorn, um, but they did have samples around. I heard that was a good thing that Costco does. Um, I think everybody worked well there together. I think it was pretty, pretty easy flowing. That's kind of what like I hate shopping. Like that is like my thing. That's why I like doing the Walmart pickup because for me to like do all that, I, I really don't enjoy it. And I feel like I didn't feel overwhelmed being there. I think it was nice. And I think it's kind of fun where if I did take other kids, they have like a little food area that you can like buy food. They didn't have any chairs or anything. Maybe that was just because of COVID. But um, so maybe next time I can get them a treat or whatever. But what I, okay, so let's talk about what I did. Let's talk about what I didn't like. Okay, so what I didn't like um, was maybe like they didn't offer a lot of what I was looking for, but that stuff I can kind of get at Walmart. Um, they didn't have Doritos there. They had just regular cheese Doritos. They didn't have ranch. 
and that's usually what we get. And they didn't have the nacho cheese that we get. Um, and what else? They did not have Dr. Pepper. So I don't know if that was just a time thing. Like, do they switch it out and they have that other times? I don't know. But they didn't have that. And then I like the things that I would buy more bulk of just so we have it all the time. But the cons that I did like and that I saw there. Um, okay, so we usually buy bulk in paper towel anyways. So I, that was a good price. Um, if I can, and if I remember, I'll try to, like the bigger items, I'll list the price somewhere. I don't know if I can do that, I'll do that. But what I kind of was starting to figure out when I was looking around when it come to bulk things, it was kind of like, okay, you buy so many and it was like 10 bucks. Or you buy so many, it was like 11 bucks or 12 bucks. For me to do that at Walmart, it would have been way more and lesser quality, qu yeah, quality of an item. So that is my like, that I like. Um, buying the bulk stuff, what you guys are talking about, like the food and everything, that was awesome. I was gonna pick up pizza. I was like, oh, that's a pretty good price for the pizza. And there was four of them in there. And I was like, four for that price. So there was like good, that kind of stuff. So I can see myself going there once a month. Instead of me doing my end of the month ones and sharing that, I think it would be fun to do my beginning of the month grocery haul through Walmart, my normal, because that's, that's kind of like what we need. Um, I didn't, now that I'm thinking about it, I did not go down the can aisle and that's the one that I wanted to go down and get more canned goods. Darn it. Okay. So next time I'll do that, but then I'll do my Costco haul. I'll probably do that monthly. So like the beginning of the month and then my Costco haul, I'll just do them too. And not the end of the month ones. I probably won't do that anymore because that, um, at the end of the month, I'm not really getting that much, much to even share. So Probably won't do that. Costco oh, it's probably gonna be better. So, cause next time it'll be different things and I'll see different things. So this time with it, my birds. Okay, so next time I go, um, let's see. The next time I go, maybe I'll do like my canned stuff and get more bulk, but I do like a lot of the bulk that I did get, but some of the stuff that I got, I wouldn't get every single time. It just was really nice that they had extra stuff. So I'm rambling and telling you everything like that, but I just wanted to share with you guys um, my opinion on the pros and a little bit of cons for my first time going. But let's get started with what I got. And then I will either put the total either on my thumbnail or in my title or in the description. I don't know yet, so we'll see. But I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'll show you what I got. All right, so we're gonna start out with the food items first and then I'll move on to the non-food items. Okay, so I found three things at Marinara. I think they were like three for $7.99 or something like that. But like I said, I will list everything down below if I can. And so then you guys kind of know if let's say you have never gone, then you kind of get an idea of what it is. Cause usually if we buy one of these, it would be maybe like two or three bucks at Walmart versus buying three for a certain amount of price. So two, four, six, maybe you know, seven, nine, nine, six something. We'll see. I don't remember what I paid. So I'll leave that down below. Okay. They, we got some go, go squeeze 28 pouches. And this is something that I get like maybe every three or four months. I don't always get this. But if this price is reasonable and I'm able to get this more often, my kids were excited when they saw it. So if that's the case, then I would probably buy more of these. Um, you guys saw in my other videos that I always get Colgurt most of the time. Um, and this is 32 of them and I will list the price down below. All right, one of the things, I brought Miles with me and Miles is my one that can't have dairy or like extra yummy stuff. So he saw this and he's like, oh my goodness, I need to have it. So 
organic chocolate banana almond non-dairy beverage so he when he saw it he got so excited so and i think this was like 15 bucks but there are i don't know how many are in here uh let's see 18 of them are in there and these would be just for miles to have and maybe the twins would have a little bit um so this is gonna last a while and for it being 15 dollars i don't think that's bad if it's just one child and it you know he won't drink them all the time it would maybe like a day or every other day or something like that so maybe like a breakfast thing or a snack thing he can have that all right we got one thing of bananas i knew i already had fruit at home so i just wanted to get a little bit miles said we were out on raspberries so we got some raspberries and then um a big thing of strawberries and i think the kids did really good on picking out good strawberries um because i sent them over there to go get them so they did a great job with that all right okay one of the things i saw on a different video that i thought was super cool is the himalayan pink salt and we use this all the time the salts that we just re recently got i can probably refill it and use this in there so and i don't remember how much this was but i know that it was a good enough price for us to um have this and use this so i thought that was pretty cool miles picked out some mozzarella sticks there are 82 to 92 in here and if i get this from walmart i think there's only like i don't know maybe like eight of them in there and we have eight kids in the house and they probably want more than eight or you know one a piece all right so this is what i was talking about the pizza i thought it was just one pizza for a certain amount of price and it was ended up being four so we usually go through pepperoni and then we also use cheese pizza. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that the kids really like these. And um, that's something that we can maybe stock up on and just store in our freezer. And, you know, because now we have more room for that. And if they enjoy it and we can get it at a cheaper price, then we can store more and always have pizza. Okay. So found a big, huge bag of French fries. Like I said before, anytime we go to Walmart, we buy one bag and it's done. Like even one bag for us at Walmart doesn't even cut it. So this is perfect. This is a huge eight pound family size thing of golden crinkles. So yeah, this is gonna be awesome. I got one big bag of yellow sweet corn. I think what this is, I could probably put these in baggies and then like separate it so that we're not freezing it all in one bag so i'm gonna try that out we have um the crispy trick chicken strips i heard that they had like a certain brand there that like chicken nuggets or something like that that tasted like chick-fil-a and we were like at the end where we were kind of getting tired and we didn't want to keep looking so i ended up not seeing it but maybe next time i'll go back and look for it so i just got a big bag of these um, another, another suggestion from the video that I saw were these, I'm going to try these out. I'm sure some of my kids are going to really like it. It comes with uh, like a spicy sauce. I'm also going to be adding this to, um, some Easter baskets and stuff like that too. So that was another reason why I wanted to get that. All right. So I think that's it for that side of the table. I'll just go over here. Um, my husband at one time well now i guess he isn't getting it as often but i saw this there um he always gets the mexican style coke from like gas stations and stuff like that and we can't find it that often around like to buy like multiple like this so maybe he would just kind of like not really use it up as much but um so i saw this there and uh i'll leave the price down below for that too all right so we are so used to getting Walmart milk or Quick Trip milk, but I got theirs and we're gonna give it a try. So I got three white, two chocolate. Um, it was funny because when Eli was getting, he right away he went towards the chocolate and he was like, can I get two? And I was like, sure. So I think they were only like 250 um, for a gallon. 
And then we also got a sample of popcorn. I think it was like, I don't know if it was like 10 bucks or something, but 44 bags. And we do have our own popcorn machine that we like using, um, but this is easy too, and the kids can just pop this in whenever. And we're so used to Walmart stuff, so this is all gonna be new to us and new taste and stuff, and that's okay. So I think the kids will like that. Um, and if you guys knew, if you guys have followed my other hauls, you know that we go through waffles quite a bit. So when I saw that they had a huge box of waffles, 72 waffles in here compared to our little tiny boxes of what I think it's like 24 for I don't know four buck 450 or something like that I don't even remember what the price was but I was like waffles and I thought that was awesome and I like how big the box is so perfect perfect for us um we eat waffles almost every morning if we're not making it um like through a mix then we're eating it this way with strawberries and wa or strawberries and whipped cream or peanut butter. I like peanut butter on my waffles. So yeah, so I was happy, happy about that purchase. Um, I get Kool-Aid for the kids every once in a while, but I don't remember what the price was, but when I saw that, I thought that was pretty cool. And um, this will be like, maybe like a monthly treat kind of thing. If the price is reasonable, when I look back at everything, there's 40 pouches in there. Um, but if we're like going places or I want to pack up stuff or like now that it's getting nicer out, maybe we can go places to the park or whatever and I can pack up stuff. And it's just nice to kind of grab that kind of stuff and go. I usually get mine on Amazon. When I saw that they had a bigger bulk one of these, that's why I got it. So I'm gonna try it out. It says that there's new things in here and I usually get the black cherry, but there's some strawberry ones and I don't remember what this one is. Um, so I was happy about that. And then as for the hint water too, I always get my hint water on Amazon um, because there's another store here, but then I would have to go to a separate place and I don't wanna do that. So if I can get it at um, Costco versus ordering it on Amazon, but even with Amazon, I'll get it in two days. So it doesn't matter, two or three days maybe. Um, so it doesn't really matter when it comes to this. But the problem with this one, it seemed like this was the only one there that had this kind. So it was like watermelon, blackberry, and pineapple. But the ones on Amazon come with the multi-pack different kinds. And then you can do individual kind too. So um, I guess it's just going to be that kind of thing. Like, you know, maybe they switch it out and they change the flavors once in a while. I don't know because that was my first time going. So we'll figure that all out at another time when I go back if they have different flavors. Otherwise, I just order it again on Amazon. No big deal. So, but that was nice to see because I don't always see this everywhere. All right. So that's pretty much it for like the food part of it. I didn't get a lot this time because I still have freezer stuff. And um, as for like cans and dried and stuff, I'll probably just do that another time and um, show you guys next time. But let's move on to like all the stuff that we gone without for a while. We haven't had Kleenexes in the house for a while. We just been using like toilet paper and stuff like that. Um, so I got, what is it? I don't even remember how many are in there. Each so there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve in here and i don't know if it was like 12 bucks or 11 bucks or maybe like 16 i don't know so i'll leave that down below also um so kind of happy to have that all right this is probably my like one of the best deals i think oh my goodness i'm kind of excited for it it's kind of one of them like i don't know you get older and you start getting excited over things that maybe you wouldn't have been excited over in the past but every time we do laundry or every time that we fold washcloths my kids are like mom where does this one go or mom is it in the kitchen they're pretty good at it but what i ended up doing is they had an amazing sale on these awesome washcloths for, there's 24 of them in a pack. So 24, yeah, 24 in a pack. And they're hotel style washcloths. And they were $11.99 for 24. And when I go to Walmart, I spend 
what, maybe like five or under for maybe like, I don't even know, like six or whatever watch class compared to 24 of them for $11.99. So I bought another pack of them. I got two packs of these and I'm going to switch out the bathroom. So these are going to be all bathroom and then any colored washcloths are going to now be our kitchen unless there's like a character on it or whatever. But so happy this is probably the best purchase i've i've always looked at washcloths and towels and i can't handle how much they cost and when i saw this i was like okay i'm sold so i got that i got a 12 pack of hand towels i don't really need any more hand towels in the bathroom besides these and then you know the ones that i have already but i figure with just staying with the white that was nice to just add that to that and i'm not worried about like the white and the dirty part my kids we use a lot of like um baby wipes and hand and like paper towel and stuff too so it's mainly like baths and stuff that we would use this for so i'm not worried about the extra dirt and all that stuff and i'll just kind of bleach it out or whatever i'm not really worried about that and then i have six pack of towels i don't remember what the cost was with this being my first time i don't know how often they change out if you guys want to leave me a comment down below and let me know if that even happens if you guys seen things there that you never seen before or you know, one time you gone and it was there and then the next time it wasn't there anymore. Let me know because I'm kind of hoping. That's why I got two packs of the washcloths because I'm like, oh my goodness, if I like them, I don't know when I'm going to get back. So I only got one of these. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to get was hand soap when I was there. And this one is, what is it? Mint, lavender, and citrus. And this is... I think unscented maybe um i always am trying to find a good hand soap that doesn't dry out my kids hands i think the problem is is they're not drying their hands good enough or something but i want to try this out and see how this goes i don't always get antibacteria soap either but they had this and this was like when i saw the price i was like okay that's awesome so i'm gonna try this out see how my kids hands handle it and uh go from there but We'll see, we'll see how that is. All right, so another good purchase are the smaller Ziploc, or the small Ziploc bag, freezer protection. That's what I was saying, like I could do the corn or whatever. Um, and then 216 bags. Now I would have to try to compare, I guess, to like what it is at Walmart, I'm not sure. And then 152 gallon, the gallon freezer bags, same. Um, same one and I think they were almost around the same price or just maybe like a little less um, with these right here I don't remember but like I said I'll leave the price um, down below and you guys can see and you guys can compare also all right so we always get paper plates and the kids like when they saw this they're like oh my god them are so cool so we always get white or like flowers or whatever so we're gonna fancy it up this time but these are probably like 10 cents cheaper or maybe like a dollar or two cheaper than what we get at walmart i was kind of asking lauren because he's the one that always like gets the paper plates and um he said they're just a little bit cheaper so if that's the case then i'll buy maybe more next time all right one of the cool things that I didn't know that they had there was big book section. So let me just tell you guys a little secret that my mom has taught me. When we were there, we were going to pick out some other books that Eli was interested in. And I was going to buy them from because we never seen them before. And they're good reader, like reader night books. I'll list it down below. Like I'll give you the name down below and I'll give you guys a link to find them because they were like 12 or something a piece there. And then if you go on Abe Books, they were only $4.15, I think. And it's always free shipping um, to the most part with books. So compared to $12 for a book and it was only like four something online, I'm going to go that route. And I will put it in the description. You guys can check that out and I'll leave links and all that for you guys. When I saw these books right here so far i'm really excited about this i feel if i sit with the kids read it over they're gonna get a real like good description on how to do some of this um, stuff but i spent ten dollars 10.79 so you know like i said i will leave links below if i find these cheaper on there i will leave that link down below 
um, and math. So, and they make it fun. It's like a character book, you know. So, uh, I love books when I, for homeschooling and stuff, so I'm excited about that. This is going to be for my granddaughters for Easter. I saw it there, Baby Lit, and they have, let me go to the back here. They have Treasure Island, Anna Green Gables, uh, Little Woman, Aladdin, Adventures in Huckleberry Finn, Sense and Sensibility, The Secret Garden, and Peter Pan. Um, her, my daughter's girls are going to love this. So I don't know if I'm going to split them up per girl or if I'm just going to give it to one girl and then my daughter can just uh, read it to them. So, And Evelyn's birthday is coming up on April 3rd. So we're all excited for that. It's going to be her golden birthday. And when I saw this there, I thought it would be perfect for her. She's into music. She's into singing. She's into learning. She catches on when the boys are learning and able to press a button and... Uh, J is for jogger. So they have all that. And then inside the book has all of that. And then that's at the end. Uh, so this one is going to be put away. And that is going to be part of her birthday gift. Okay, another good purchase. I had to ask my husband because he's usually the one that gets the batteries. So the AAA, they were, I think, under 20 bucks, and then 20 some dollars for this amount. I'm not sure. But he said it was a really good deal. So I got them, and I will leave that down below also. And we always go through batteries. Either he uses batteries for things that he needs for work, or the kids are using them for something else too. I got some ibuprofen for kids and then I got some Tylenol for the kids that was like one of the perfect things too that was like at the end of our shopping I saw these and all like the medicine stuff but this is pretty much all that I saw that we needed for right now all right so that's pretty much everything that I got from Costco like I said I'll leave everything down below if I can and remember what everything is I'll just look at the receipt and then I'll let you know what I spent I actually was expecting way more like I told my husband I'm like I don't know how much this is gonna be because I don't know how long I'm gonna be there and I even told my kids I said the reason why you're here well one we're gonna hang out two I need three carts I thought it was gonna be like that and then I get there and the cart is like bigger than me like I'm short and it was like it's like up to here on me or whatever so um we did good one car and it fit in the back part of my van. I didn't show a picture, but I do have a picture of how um, full the cart is. Maybe maybe I'll link it up here, like put a picture like right there and you guys can see. Um, but we made it, the kids were tired at the end and they were just like, I just wanna go home. And I could just stay there a little long, but that's okay. Now I know what to expect. And um, I'll go again next month and get some more stuff. But I probably won't get like, you know, like the books unless I did see something. Cause they do have a lot of like, um, not homeschool books, like homeschool, like we get curriculum and stuff, but they had like when Evelyn would start school, I always get like them kind of books because I don't really need to get a curriculum for her, but for the twins, there was still some stuff there that would work for them. And then I told my daughter, I said, maybe I'll take her next time too. And she can see what she can get for her kids because they had a good selection of books there we don't really have an area besides amazon or some things at walmart not very much um it's only when school starts that walmart has like nice books that you can kind of like kind of like a filler book for homeschool um and that's kind of what these are too they're just like little filler books but they're pretty good size and different age groups and stuff like that just for like elementary or whatever but that was a good i like that i thought that was really cool that they had all that their clothes section was kind of mm, i don't really get clothes from walmart anyways not so often i get a lot of hand-me-downs too and as for me i'm like more like kohl's clearance um i don't know walmart leggings that kind of stuff so or a lot of the like Facebook ad stuff because I like like this. This is a Facebook. This is a Facebook ad shirt because I like different and I don't really 
like some of the styles at Walmart or around here. So I like them just a little bit different, but um, so I didn't really see anything there clothes wise that would benefit our family. Maybe socks. I did see socks there, but I didn't look and we don't need any right now. Um, so I will, it might be like a seasonal thing. Like I'll see more things as I go and different new things. So, um, but yeah, I think it was fun for the first time and I definitely will go back. Uh, so hopefully you guys like today's video. Let me know in the comment down below if you guys enjoyed today's video. If I did good, if I, are you guys happy with my haul? You know, cause I, I know you guys are like, just go to Costco. So I'm happy that I went to Costco, but now I know and now I know what to expect and stuff. And I can go, I guess I can go online too. So maybe they have more stuff online. Um, I did talk to one of the guys cause I was looking for electronic stuff and he said that maybe online there would be more to offer. So I am gonna go online and I'm gonna look around for things and uh, maybe they have more toys and things that I didn't see there that they would have online. So I could do that too, but let me know. Do you guys go to the store or do you guys shop online and do you do pickup? I don't even know, do they even have pickup? Do they have where I can go get pickup? Um, so I'll have to check all that out, but leave me a comment down below for that. So hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.